Hey YouTube, what's up? We can see the construction guys, like, look, like they're right across from us. I wonder if they saw us wave. They seem pretty busy. So, what are we gonna talk about today? Chen asked in our Q&A video what our favorite TV shows are. Let's make our own video. Here's a whole episode for you where we can discuss our favorite TV shows. Because that's super interesting. <laughs> So, should we just do this the whole time? So, let's start off with the TV shows we watch now. Here, let's consult. We have a list for you. No, How do we have all ones. this time to watch shows? We don't. <laughs> no, <laughs> like actually, we don't. We don't, but we still do. How do we do it? <laughs> On network television, the shows we watch are Parks and Rec, Modern Family, The Mindy Project. I love Mindy Project. Glee. <laughs> I kind of, of you just admitted that. It's kind of embarrassing. Now at this point, <laughs> we're just kind of like waiting for it to be over. Like we're gonna finish it, but it's not fun anymore. I think they know how bad it is too. The only reason it's good anymore is because of Sue Sylvester. She keeps calling attention to the fact that like nothing makes sense on the yeah, show. Yeah, that's the only part that we laugh at. I guess there's some new shows this season we started watching. We also started watching Blackish. Blackish is funny, but we can't stand Anthony Anderson. Everyone else on that show is fantastic, especially the two youngest. The little kids The twins, so Jack and Diane, they're so cute. They're so funny. They have such great comedic timing. And then we also just started watching Empire Strikes Back. We also just started watching Empire. <laughs> How come you? Because why are you being more? annoying? <laughs> I love Cookie. I would hate to like have her as a friend, but she's a good TV character. I think it would have been good if they weren't. Sorry. We started watching How to Get Away with Murder. <laughs> What's Wait. the best part of that show? Connor. Connor's. <laughs> oh. He's so hot! What's the worst part of that show? <laughs> Whenever Wes Gibbons looks at things. Oh, he'll it's he'll the just worst. be like doing something and he'll be like... Oh, he's such a bad looker. I don't know what it is, but he he's so bad at looking at things. Look. Speaking of looking, half of the original question on our Q&A was if we watch Looking, and if so, what team are we on? Team Kevin or Team Richie? So we do watch Looking, and... What team are you? I'm Team Richie. I think I'm Team Kevin. Why are you Team Kevin? Because he's like the fantasy. Team Richie is like a down to earth, just like better boyfriend. Yeah, Richie would be a better boyfriend. I will admit that. But for the sake of the show, it's it was just like- It's forbidden love. It's it, like been done before. It has been done, but it ropes me in every time. What else do we watch on HBO? The straight female version of looking. What? Girls. Oh, girls. I don't want to watch it anymore. I, know. I like, can't stand Hannah. Kind Over of, it! We're putting it off, but I think we're gonna watch it. I'm gonna make him watch it. Maybe. Ever since Seinfeld, we've been huge fans of Julia Louis Dreyfus, and she has her own show, Veep, on HBO. Veep. Yeah. That almost sounds like Beep. Oh my god, maybe that's why we like it. She plays the vice president. <laughs> it's totally cringe humor, so if you like cringe humor, you will love Veep. And then we also watch The Comeback. I'll admit, I own the first season of The Comeback, and I've owned this since like 2005 because it was so good! And then I heard they were gonna bring it back, and I was like, oh my god, dreams come true. So The Comeback was a comeback of The Comeback, which is a show about an actress's comeback filming The Comeback. Yeah, that was good. Let it beeps, let it beeps! <laughs> oh, can't wait for the karaoke challenge. Excited for a karaoke episode? <laughs> what else do we watch? We also watched Transparent. Jeffrey Chamber is just like amazing, but yeah. all the characters are really good. It's the first show that features a lead trans. character who's trans. Yeah. And it's also a really well-crafted show. You guys should watch that. Do it. We also watch Broad City, which <laughs> takes place in New York, so... We can relate. <laughs> the stuff that happens in that show, even though it's kind of like ridiculous, as a young person living in New York, a lot yeah. of those incidents, I'm like, oh my god, I've done that before. Like the episode where they're... <laughs> When they're trying to get to the right end of the train, and then they get off the train platform, they're like, No, we're on the wrong end! Also, House of Cards just came back. <gasps> How do we have all this time? There's so many shows we that we've listed. How do we watch all these I things? I, still, I don't understand. I don't get it! This summer, Orange is the New Black. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. And then another show that is really good that we would both highly recommend. Orphan Black. And we only watched the first season because we're waiting for the second season to be free. <laughs> <laughs> we beeps do not have deep pockets. But we do have beeps pockets. Tatiana Maslany, I think that's how you say her name. She plays like seven different characters. 
and yeah. each one is distinct. Each one has like its own accent. Uh, Ward, well, obviously Wardrobe. <laughs> she makes that show fantastic. Orphan Black. It's pretty. This is really long, so we're gonna have to chop, chop, chop it. Thanks for watching our favorite TV shows video. So if you liked our video, like it, comment, subscribe. Oh, subscribe? Yeah, like press the subscribe button. I'm Beep. I'm Beep. We're two beeps. Peacing out. Beeps. Out. Out. I wish there was like a red light that said it was recording so we knew for sure. It is right there. No, that just means it's on. Okay, it's recording. Okay.